I'm going to give you a quick breakdown of Apple Account, also known as Apple ID, explaining what it is, what it does, and then I'll show you how to create a new Apple Account. First of all, at the moment of making this video, the official name is still Apple ID, but with the release of iOS 18 and Mac OS Sequoia, Apple is officially renaming it to Apple Account, which hopefully makes it easier to understand. So if you're reading old documentation that's referring to Apple ID, it's the same thing as Apple Account, and sometimes you'll see those terms used interchangeably. Apple Account is a unique account used to access all Apple services and products. Whether you're using an iPhone, a Mac computer, an Apple Watch, Apple TV, iPad, or basically any Apple device or service, you should have your own Apple account. It serves as the central point for logging into Apple's ecosystem. So it's basically your user account for all Apple devices and services. While your old TV, phone, or computer might have worked straight out of the box without setting up any accounts, modern devices are a little different. Technically, you can use your Apple devices without creating an Apple account, but it's highly recommended to create one. I can almost guarantee you're going to need it eventually anyway. Plus, setting up an Apple account makes the user experience a hundred times better and saves you from a lot of headaches later down the road. Sometimes people get Apple account and iCloud mixed up, so let's go over the differences between these two. Apple account is your account used to sign into various Apple services, while iCloud is one of the services that can be accessed with your Apple account. From the user's perspective, they can feel like the same thing. You sign into all your devices with your Apple account, and magically all your photos, browser bookmarks, emails, notes, calendars, and contacts are all synced between devices iCloud is where all your stuff is stored, and it's used to sync your data between devices. Apple Account, on the other hand, is the account you use to access all this. So how do you create an Apple Account? If you're setting up a new Apple device, it will always ask you to either log in to an existing Apple Account or to create a new one. You can create an Apple Account while setting up the device, or if you skipped it while setting up your device, you can create it later. There's a few different ways to create it, and I'll give you a quick overview of all different options. If you're using an iPhone, iPad, or Apple Vision Pro, you can create an Apple account in your App Store. You can also navigate to your settings and create a new account through there. On a Mac, if you try using apps like Messages, you'll get prompted to create an Apple account, or like my Mac still calls it, Apple ID. You can also create one through your system settings like I'm showing here. Also, one easy way is to simply create it through a web browser, which allows you to create your account on any device. Go to appleid.apple.com. I'm sure they'll update the address once the account officially gets rebranded as Apple Account, but this address should still work even after that. Once you get there, just follow the steps I'm showing here on the screen and you'll be able to create your own Apple account. Once your account has been created, you can use it to log into all your Apple devices. So that's Apple Account, also known as Apple ID in a nutshell. I hope that was helpful. Hit that like button on your way out, subscribe to our channel, and we'll see you in the next tutorial.